It seems there is no deal after Sunday, but was one expected? Yes, Sudan has woken up to no deal uh, this morning. And yes, I think that is uh, something of a surprise. The military and the opposition had both briefed that they were very close uh, to that deal when talks broke up a few days ago. They said they basically just needed to cross the T's and dot the I's and then that uh, agreement could be inked. So we are basically where we were a few days ago when those uh, talks uh, broke up. That is to say that we know there is a plan for elections in Sudan, a democratic transition in three years' time. In that intervening three years, there will be a parliament here which is dominant dominated by the opposition that is negotiating that deal with the military. But we still don't know the crucial question, which is who is to sit on the country's top body in those interim three years? Will it be a majority of men from the old guard, from the army, or will it be those who represent protesters uh, in the streets? Still don't have an answer to that question, but talks are resumed today, so perhaps a little more clarity uh, tonight. Nadia, there was some hope that this might be taken care of uh, even last week. As this drags on, are protesters becoming more and more frustrated? I think some protesters are. There's been a degree of effort by protesters to show goodwill in these negotiations. The main demand from the military this week has been that protesters remove a number of the barricades around the sit-in site that they control in the very centre of Khartoum. And many of those barricades in the past 72 hours have come down. So the protesters have tried to show the military, by and large, we're willing to do what you ask for. We're willing to negotiate. So give us uh, what we're asking for in return, which is a majority of opposition figures sitting on that country's uh, top body. Now, if they don't get that, expect a good deal of frustration in the streets and perhaps something more radical as well. There's been talk of uh, a, a general strike in this country of civil uh, disobedience, of trying to grind the administration of Sudan to a halt if no deal is found. And protesters certainly will be frustrated if there is no deal uh, reached in the coming day or so. All right. Thanks very much, Nadia. Nadia Massey reporting from Hartford.